Hey guys, it's Miss Jackie. Um, today we have a fine motor activity for you guys to do with your kids based on the book we've been working on this week, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So, I prepped this already earlier. What I did was I took a piece of cardboard, I just used the front of a cereal box because it's what I had lying around, um, and I drew these four fruits on there. I punched the holes in there. You can use a hole punch or a pair of scissors or what I find was easiest was I just stabbed them with a pencil and that worked fine too. Um, and we're going to practice lacing through all of these holes. Um, I had this cotton string lying around. A shoelace would actually work really well, but I didn't have one of those. Whatever string you have. Um, what I did, I cut off a piece. And as you can see, I just put a little bit of tape on the end to make it stiff. That's gonna help it so it doesn't fall apart as your kid is working with it. Now with the other end, I'm gonna tape it onto the back of my piece of cardboard. Just like that. That way that end doesn't go anywhere either. So this is the point where you can give it over to your kid and practice some fine motor threading. So you're gonna instruct them to thread it up through one hole, pull it all the way to the end, and then down through the next hole. There we go, and then we can move on to the apple. We go up through one hole and down through the next. Just like that, and then you can keep going for however many holes you guys made in yours. Um, now this might be a little bit difficult for some of your kids, and that's fine. It's just going to take a little bit of practice, and you're probably going to have to do the first few with them, but that's fine. A little patience. Um, one of the fun things about this, too, is if your student um, either really enjoys this activity or really needs a little bit more practice at it. Um, once we're done, we can take the string right out and they can do it again the next day. We can reuse this piece of cardboard that we made. It's really nice like that. Um, now, if you're not quite so artistic, that's fine. You don't have to be drawing all these fruit on here. It doesn't even have to be fruit. You can cut out whatever picture you like out of a magazine and do holes around it. Um, you can have your child draw whatever they would like on there and then punch holes wherever you would like. Um, or I have one other idea. I made this one earlier. Um, what I did for this one is I just put a photograph in the middle and then punched holes around the outside and used my lacing technique to make a picture frame. Um, this would be a really fun activity for Mother's Day, which is coming up this weekend. You could do a little mommy and me picture or a picture of the whole family. Um, it's a fun way to do both a cute piece of art and practice our fine motor skills. Uh, thanks for watching. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. Bye!